Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial wherein we are going to learn how to sort collection or array of objects in Java using comparator interface. Okay, so let's first see what is comparator. As I mentioned in a previous slide, comparator is a interface and it belongs to Java collections framework. This interface is used for sorting or ordering collections or arrays. This can be or this interface implementation can be passed as the function parameter to collections.sort or arrays.sort. Once that is passed, the collection or the array will be sorted and output will be stored in the same object. You can create separate implementations of the comparator interface for a single class that means you can have many different comparator interface implementation for a single class okay for example if you have a user class and it has got two fields id and name you can create separate comparator interface implementation for id and name and whenever you need to sort based on id pass the id comparator and whenever you want to sort based on name you can pass the name comparator so we will see this example little bit later so how do you implement comparator interface in two simple steps so the first step is create a class which implements the comparator for a particular type let's see how so here we can see it says public class user id comparator implements comparator and in the angles we give the type called user so what we are saying is we are creating a comparator for the user class and the name of the comparator is user id comparator okay in a step two we have to implement the compare method so let's see how to do that so what we do is we say public int compare and we pass two user objects user1 and user2 and here we are comparing based on the id so we are saying return user1.get id minus user2.get id that means it is comparing the value of ids for user1 and user2 and whichever is less the id that will be placed in the lower order in the sorting uh, in the lower sorting order okay so if user 1's id is 1 and user 2's id is 3 so user 1 will come before user 2 that is what this compare method will do so this int which is the return type will return either minus or negative value in case user 1's once value of get uh, user once get id is lesser than user 2 it will return 0 if both the ids are similar so what will happen is both will remain uh, wherever they are in the list and if it returns positive so what will happen is um, user 2 will come before the user 1 because uh, it will return positive only when get id of user 1 is more than get id of user 2 okay now how do you invoke the sorting for collections when you have comparator interface implementation so that is also very simple what you have to say is you have to say collections.sort then we pass the list here then we say new and whatever the comparator you want to use for sorting this list okay let's see an example so we are saying collections.sort user that means this is a list of users assuming that this is array list or some kind of list of users which has multiple users and I want to sort it using a particular user uh, comparator called user id comparator so I say new user id comparator so as you can see we are passing this comparator as one of the function parameters what is that function sort so in the collections.sort function the comparator is passed okay once this is executed your all the users will be in sorted order of id because this user id comparator compares based on id 
and same thing happens for array also so if you have array user array of user 1 2 and 3 uh, you have to say arrays dot sort user array and this is the comparator instance I want to use for sorting this array so that is how you will sort let's see the practical example in the workspace okay so let's go there so we have uh, a user object which has got two fields id and name id is integer and name is string we have a very simple constructor here and we have get id and set id which are getter and setter for id and we have getter and setter for name right then you have two string which returns just the string which is going to print the value of the user object fine now we want to create comparator for this so what i did is i went ahead and created a comparator based on id i said public class user id comparator implements comparator which is in java.util as you can see and it's going to compare the objects of user class okay that is what this means so the only method i want to override is compare method which is going to take two objects of user so user1 and user2 and i'm going to say if user1 so return user1.get id minus user2.get id okay so that is how you can uh, implement this comparator now how to use it how to invoke it so i have uh, users here array list of users which has got four users i add these users here in the array list then i'm running through the loop so if i run through the loop let's see what happens as you can see it has printed the four values as in the order which was added in the list okay now i want to use this comparator so i will say uh, let's call it before this i'll say collection i've imported it dot sort what do i want to sort i want to sort the users okay so i'll say users and i want to sort based on user id comparator this one guy okay so i'll say new user id come okay so i'll save it now I, i'm going to run it so as you can see now it is sorted based on the id one four five seven okay so that is how you can use the comparator similarly if i have a array let's uncomment this what i will do is i'll comment this guy for now so that it doesn't print uh, and confuses us so I have array so similarly I can also sort the arrays so I'll say arrays dot sort and what do I want to sort I'll say I want to sort the user array and I want to use the same comparator I'll say user ID comparator okay now here I'm just printing out the objects in the array right so let's do it let's run it as you can see it has again printed the array also in the same order so that is uh, the concrete implementation of the comparator right there is one more way wherein you can have anonymous implementation of the comparator interface so here I'm going to if I'm if I'm going to need this comparator, comparator, user ID comparator at many places, I create separate class like this, okay? But if I am going to only need a comparator at only one place, I can also create an anonymous uh, implementation of the comparator. So let us see how to do that. So if I want to create a comparator for the name of the user, so how do I do it? So I will do it and show you how, how to do that. Okay. So for now, let's comment this code and we will see. 
so we will say collections dot sort and i want to sort the users and now i have to give the comparator right so as a new comparator so it's a comparator of user so i'll give user here and i will give a class so uh, sorry i will i'll give a curly braces just like we give in class okay so what it is saying is let's see uh, if i go here it is saying import it so i'm going to import it that is fine for me now it's saying that you have to implement the method okay so i'll say add unimplemented method so it, it's given me a uh, template which i can use now very easily i'll say uh, o1 dot get name dot compare to o2 dot get name okay so as you can see i am using uh, a anonymous implementation of the comparator interface okay so it is just on the fly and i don't need to create a separate class for this okay so that is how it is so let's see if this runs or not so we'll run it now and as you can see it has now uh, sorted this list based on alphabetical order of names right so that's all i wanted to show you uh, for comparator interface so what are the key points we need to remember so what you need to remember is you can create concrete class which implements the comparator interface when you need it from many places okay and only method you need to implement is called the compare method you can also create anonymous implementation of the compare interface if it is needed at only a single place fine how do you invoke so you have to invoke the collections.sort and pass the list and the comparator interface implementation and same thing for arrays also you have to uh, pass the array as well as the comparator uh, comparator interface implementation so that's all you need to remember while working with comparator interface so guys that's all I had. I hope you have found this useful and you're going to implement it in your application. So I'll request you to subscribe and like my uh, video and also provide your comments in the comment section. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you soon again with yet another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.